Apple, it's Richard Ash, Apple Craft Instruments. Quick demo of a dulcimer that I'm working on. It looks awful because it's been through about 3,000 shows in the last year. I'm exaggerating. This is a dulcimer owned by Big Potch, and this is a double neck dulcimer. This side we have a bass dulcimer, DAD. This side we have a standard dulcimer, DAD. And I have this one running through a pickup, so this is going to be quite a bit louder. I'm not even going to demonstrate the bass because it still has grudgy strings that I haven't changed yet. I just put fresh strings on the standard side. So the instrument is made out of walnut on the back and sides and top. This has a ebony, a Gabon ebony fretboard veneer. It has the uh, contemporary dolphin, or modern dolphin, I think they might be called on the website, sound holes. The contemporary heads, we put three strings on either on either head. This bottom head is facing outwards, this head is facing outwards. There's really not room to put tuners on the inside. So when we do a double neck dulcimer, we either have to do a scroll head with the tuners above, or a contemporary head with tuners facing to the outside. And I think this is a really sharp look. If you look at one of our single neck dulcimers with the contemporary head, we, we, we face all the tuners towards the player, so it's easy to turn them. But on the double neck, we have to put a few of them on the far side, just so you can actually reach them. Anyway, when we first made the contemporary head, it was for a double neck dulcimer. And so many people asked for it on single neck dulcimers, that we started offering that as an option. It's actually one of our most popular choices now. Uh, this one actually, this dulcimer has two pickups. One pickup under this bridge, one pickup under this bridge, and each pickup has its own preamp. This is the Fishman Prefix Pro and Matrix Pickup Prefix Pro Blend system. And we actually have two output jacks as well, one for one pickup, one for the other. So when he performs on this instrument, Bing can run one set of effects for the standard dulcimer, another set of effects for the bass dulcimer. He can mix and match and get the sound he wants for the song over the venue that he's working with. Um, this one has, I mentioned the Gabon Ebony. This one does have some nice, pretty, curly walnut on the sides. It's not a real spectacular instrument visually, but it has a great sound, which you kind of expect that. 28 inch BSL, nut bridge is 28 inches. This does have the extra one and a half, six and a half, um, and so forth in the upper octaves. And I'll just play you a slow tune and a fast tune and let you see what it sounds like. Almost got it. Harmonic over the strum hall is awfully tricky. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. I would never try it in a performance, but it's kind of fun in a practice. That's what we got. Uh, famous dulcimer from a famous dulcimer player. I'm just doing some setup and adjustment work while I'm in North Carolina, and Bing is in North Carolina. He'll be headed back to Florida. I'll be headed back to Indiana, but I get to work on the dulcimer in the meanwhile. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.